Okay, in this video I'm going to quickly show you how to do some on-the-fly battery testing. So if you happen to be in a used computer store and you find a used ThinkPad battery or used laptop battery and you want to see uh, what capacity it has before you purchase it and make a wise decision, you can always ask the person at the shop, hey, I have my laptop here, uh, may I test the battery capacity? And of course if they tell you, if they say no, then you're gonna have to make your decision um, based on nothing. However, uh, most of them are usually pretty good about saying, yeah, you can test the battery, make sure it works, and you can run this particular utility called TLP. So the installation instructions uh, are pretty straightforward if you're a Linux person. So we'll open up uh, terminal here, and we're gonna uh, blow it up nice and big sudo tlp dash stat type in your password and it'll give you a list the items that we're concerned about are at the bottom so this will tell you the model and manufacturer so you can tell if it's a genuine part this is very handy it will also tell you the manufacturer's date and the date it was first used so in this case uh, the battery was stored for a little less than a year uh, before it was shipped into service. It's only seen a charge cycle of 149 uh, uses. However, uh, there has been a sizable amount of battery degradation. If we look at the design capacity, it was 93,240. Uh, it's currently sitting at uh, 68,850. And with its um, remaining capacity, because it's unplugged right now, is 54,900. So the remaining uh, percent of battery uh, life is 82%, or approximately 250 uh, minutes. So it'll also tell you uh, the fact that it's charging and some other useful statistics. So in other words, this battery, for the most part, is averagely healthy. It's not stupendous, but it's not terrible either. Now, the nice thing is we can uh, zoom out here for a moment. We're going to take our uh, plug, and what we're going to do is we're going to do some hot, some hot swaps. So we're going to go ahead and plug the battery in, or pardon me, the laptop in. And we're going to flip this over, and we're actually going to remove the battery while um, it has a. Uh, connection, this is perfectly safe to do. So let's do some tests on some known batteries. So let's drop in the six cell and see what we get. And we're gonna go ahead and run the test again. Now, this is going to give us some very significantly different uh, statistics. Again, it is a genuine battery. It was uh, used within five months of its uh, manufacturer's date. It was only cycled 65 times, and it has a full capacity of 62,160. It can only charge up to 55,000 of that, and its remaining capacity is 21. Now here's the thing that we need to see, is you'll notice that the remaining time now and remaining time charging says that it is a not, it's a battery that's not charging. So in other words, the battery is toast. Uh, it is plugged in, it has a 39% charge because when the battery decided to stop charging, it was at 51%. So over uh, time, that will slowly trickle out to the point where it will hold uh, no charge whatsoever. So if you have a battery, pardon me, a laptop that's plugged in and a battery that's giving you uh, not charging and not discharging, that means that something inside the battery is toast and it's garbage, no good. So, let's try another battery. Again, we'll hot swap that one out. And we're gonna put this one in, and before I show it to you, uh, this one is rated for 5,300 uh, milliamps, 11.1 .1 volts. Uh, however, we're gonna see that uh, the statistics that we get off of um, the program may not necessarily match, <laughs> which is kind of like a buyer beware thing. 
So we'll run the utility again. Now, uh, design capacity is 4,800 milliamps, which is not 5,300, I'd like to point out. Um, it is a Sanyo manufactured cell battery, which is not OEM. However, it is well known that Sanyo was making these batteries, so it's not like it's uh, not genuine. However, that coupled together with the milliamp count being uh, somewhat inaccurate makes me question uh, the validity of this. It may be a rebuild, I'm not sure. Uh, according to the stats, it came online in 2016 and it was first used when I purchased it uh, 2017 of this year. It's had 70 cycle counts, so I've used it pretty extensively. And I've already lost a little bit um, of that battery health. And considering that the battery is at pretty much 100%, it's not charging, so that's fine and it's not discharging. And if we want to check that, what we can do is we'll reach behind the laptop, unplug it, and we can run the utility again, and we will see that it's not charging and that it is discharging at a healthy rate, giving it a, an approximate uh, time remaining. So in other words, the battery is in good condition. So if you are looking to purchase a battery and you have the ability to go into a store, maybe pick up a used one, save yourself a couple of dollars, or if you're buying a battery online and you want to ensure that the seller is offering you the genuine article and you are running Linux, you can use TLP uh, to use this. Now, if you're not running Linux and you still want to do battery tests, just about every manufacturer offers a program that you can use to pull out the battery statistics. Uh, this is not unique to Linux, however, in my opinion, Linux makes it the easiest to get access to these figures. So, hopefully you learned something about laptop batteries and what you can do to protect yourself from buying something that's way past its due date, might not be in good battery health, and how to um, be a little bit more informed on what ba aftermarket batteries you may be purchasing. Uh, just because it's aftermarket doesn't mean that it's bad. Uh, you might run across some aftermarket ones that are just as good or even made in the same factory as the OEM battery. However, the only way to check is to actually run a battery scanning utility to make sure that everything is on the up and up. So, if you found this useful and you enjoyed this sort of content, please let me know, share the video, leave a comment. I always like to read and reply to those, and of course subscribe uh, to kind of make your voice heard that this is content that you find interesting and or valuable. Have a good one.